Hey guys, good afternoon. We pre-apologize for the echo. We're inside of our house and everything's made of hardwood floors. If you haven't seen our tour of our apartment, go check it out. You'll understand why it's echoing. Um, but we're excited to be here today and do this video. Yesterday we went and toured our local German grocery store and we took a few items from there that we thought would be really fun to try. I'm excited. Yeah, so we've got a plethora of food here, although we're gonna just take little bites of everything just to get a good um, impression. We've got salamis, cheeses, breads, toppings, sides, and of course chocolate. We're gonna focus on gummies another time, but- mm -hmm. More chocolate and too. More chocolate too, but today this is kind of how we're gonna do it. So we're just gonna try, we don't know the names of everything, so we apologize in the first place if we don't know them, but just kind of gives us our impression of what we're going with. Yeah, if you haven't yet, go check out that video of us going to the grocery store, because that will give you a good idea of, you know, how we found these items. Um, everything here is new. We've never tried any of this. Okay, we're going to start with the savory first and end with the sweet. I'm the most scared about these items. Same. And yeah. the curry worst. Or the, I don't even think that's right, the ketchup curry. Okay, so starting out, we went to the butcher area within the grocery store and I do not know the name of this cheese. All I know is that it is filled with herbs inside of it. That's not scary, that's good. I was kind of scared. <laughs> Provolone? I don't know, it's like a very simple, a very mild. The herbs aren't even very strong. Yeah. It's good. Great. Be great for like a grilled cheese or something, add some extra flavorings. This is Gouda, I think. I have no idea. Yeah, I think so. It's good, it's creamy in the mouth, it's mm -hmm. smooth. Yeah, I want more. it's fantastic, yeah. All right, so now moving on to the meats. We've got a simple sausage or worse. Um, I apologize if it's not called the sausage. When we got this one, she said that there's cheese inside of it. I asked her what her favorite kind was and this is what she said that this is one of her favorites. She said you could eat it like this or boil it, cook it. We're just gonna eat it like this. That's nice. That is good. Yeah. It does look like it's mm. some sort of white cheese in there. I am not a hot dog, a sausage person, but this is <laughs> this is good. This is definitely not a hot dog person. No. It's, that's why it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we've got some peppered salami. Mm -hmm. We got regular salami and pe peppered salami. We'll go ahead and we'll give that a... The, they look different though, I think. Like, the, the middle looks different, so they come... They're not the same. Man, that is salty. Good though. Yeah. I put that on my pepperoni. Yeah. I mean on my pizza. <laughs> that that is really nice. And they're thin enough slices so that the pepper is not like overpowering, but it does add some great flavor. Now onto the one that doesn't have any. Also good, but I like the peppered one better. Agreed. I think the flavor just is a little bit better. <laughs> like I feel it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next we've got a couple different meats. Um, lunch meat style cuts. Um, I think we've got some we have variety. Like pork, pork belly type of thing, maybe? I don't we know. We don't know. <laughs> There's <laughs> this then, one, that one, and, and this And then this one. looks like a sliced ham. And then also, I, we have no idea, guys. We honestly just grabbed kind of whatever. But we're excited to try. Yeah, this reminds me of like a bacon cut. Mm-hmm. I'm not used to like raw fat stuff, but yeah, the visual, <laughs> it's not my favorite, but the taste is delicious. Mmm. -hmm. Soak it up in another bite. You'll have to see which one's your favorite out of the three of them. Mm. It leaves a really good aftertaste in the mouth too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Mmm. That's not bad. I think I like this one better. This one definitely has more flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Like it's stronger. This one, the bacon looking one, has a lot of fat 
and salt taste to it. This one has got some really good flavor though. Mm -hmm. And salt too. <laughs> but, but, it's, but it's not as salty as the other one. Mm -mm. I don't know if you like that. Does that have like a smoked flavor to it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not smoked, but it's It's almost something. infused with some sort of flavor. What is that? Maybe it's just a natural flavor. I don't know, but man. All of them are so good. What would you rank? I'd probably say this one for flavor. Um, the baking looking one for, I don't know, that real savory. <laughs> if you want something really savory, that one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So this one, this one would be first, and then this one that I thought was smoked, but it, it's not. I don't think um, ties probably with that one. So I would probably have either of those. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Is this one first, and then who knows about the second because they're all really good. Yeah. Okay. This is the part I'm the most nervous for. Okay. Grab your fork. <clears throat> so yeah, you explain. So this one is sauerkraut. They said to eat it warm. We're just gonna see what it tastes like, and then if it's really that bad, <laughs> we're not gonna listen. <laughs> we're just gonna see. This is a cooked sauerkraut, though, right? Yeah. Versus they had another one that was raw, and we opted out to get the cooked one. Tanner's typically a sauerkraut lover, so I I don't know. I feel like this is like such an authentic experience for us to get store made, like a homemade sauerkraut in Germany. Needs to be warmed up, but it still <laughs> tastes good though. Go ahead, get a rope. Yeah. Is it like other sauerkraut you've had? Now I'm nervous. No, it's great. Yeah. I don't know why it's nervous. I think it's good, mm -hmm. but I do think it would be better if it was warm. Yeah. They were right. We always need to listen to good. them. Okay. What's this one? I am nervous about this one, you guys. So this, I don't really know. She just says, you eat this on bread. I think there's like a cheese, a Looks cheese like a in there. Like paprika. Do you know what that smells like? <laughs> yeah, we're we just doing a little dibble. No, you put it on bread. The smell, you guys, is getting to me. We don't know what it is. It just has some sort of cheese in there. So you guys need to help us out. What is this? You don't. I can't look at you before I turn. Yeah. It's got like a sourness to it. I mean, you gotta remember this is a sourdough bread too, so. Yeah, we're using a sour sunflower bread. I can't quite do that one. Whoa. <coughs> yeah, like some flavors in it, at first I was like, that's not bad. That's not bad. But even the lingering flavor, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Maybe it would be an acquired taste. It might be. Not a favorite. You guys need to tell us what's in it. So interesting. So unique. I've never had anything like that before. This looks like kind of your generic pasta salad. Um, you can see pickles in there. Corn, that's kind of unique from what I typically have in mine. Onions. I think onions, yeah. I'm excited. I like it. It's got some sort of meat minced up in there as well. I think maybe yeah. we were mistaken the onions because we maybe we were thinking they were a red onion for a meat. Yeah, I really like the pickles with yeah. it. Yeah, that's good. I'm not a huge potato salad or pasta salad mm -hmm. fan myself, but I would I would get that if it yeah. was available. Yeah, yeah that's good. Well, which we know where to find it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the oh, before we go on to the sweet, let's do the other one that I'm kind of nervous about. <laughs> All right, so we got some curry ketchup. Is this just there? Is is this like ketchup? Do people have this on like french fries or currywursts or what? Anyway, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try it on one of the, our sausage, our worst that we have here. See how it goes. That's a good idea. Not bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's more of an Indian curry yeah. flavor. I did not expect that. Yeah. I don't know what I expected, but even the pictures look like Indian spice curries flavors. Is this something that you guys use or is this just a random item that they throw on the shelves? It's very sweet which I didn't expect it to be that sweet. What about you? Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, I'm a fan though. Let yeah. Here's what we'll try next. These all say cream on them. And I find it really interesting because I have no idea what's mixed in with it. This one's pistachio. This looks like a honey, but it also says a cream. So we're not sure. Is this just honey or is it a creamed honey? Um, and then we have a berry cream as well. So I'm excited to try it. That's what that one looks like. Yeah, let's get some bread. We have a knife here. <laughs> it 
It looks kind of weird getting this. It looks like we're taking candle wax and spreading it onto <laughs> our piece of bread. Bon appetit. Easy there. My baby's waking up, as you can tell. One sec. All right, she's back to sleep. I normally don't like pistachio flavored other things besides pistachios, but you I, like would, it? I wouldn't mind that, yeah. Yeah, I feel like even if you like added something that had a little bit of crunch, like on top of that, maybe a little bit of granola or something, it would give a really good bite to such a creamy texture here. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now, what's the base? So this is the cream honey Ooh. that we think. It's runnier, more runny than I thought it would be. It smells just like honey. It smells divine. It smells floral. Yeah, right? I think that's like where the bees are pollinating on specific areas. Yeah, there we go. Can I show you? Mm. It looks so good. It tastes like flowers. <laughs> <laughs> it has a very subtle honey flavor, but it tastes more like flowers than anything. Yeah, I've like never had Like it's still honey. not bad, but. I've never had honey like that. Mm. Just very, very infused, but good, yeah. All right, and then the last one we have the mixed berry gourmet, gourmet cream. Yeah. <laughs> I think it says wild fruit, wild fruit flavor. Oh, the textures are so different. All three of these have been extremely different. I like it. It's more tart than I expected, um, which I like though. It's not just completely like an overbearing sweet. Um, yeah, it's not like my favorite, but it, I still think it's really good. Yeah. Mix it with some peanut butter. <laughs> Have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> Such an American thing to do, I know. Or even just like on a crepe or a waffle or something in plain. Even the bread was, was yeah. nice. Yeah, it was nice. So we heard from a friend that the wafer candies or crackers, treats in Germany are really good. So we actually didn't pick this one out. Tanner's coworker did when we were in quarantine. And then I found this because it says brownie and I love brownies. So I thought it would be fun to try two different kind of wafer candies and see how they are. There's that one. Do you want to open it up? Chocolate is Marissa's favorite food group. I think I'm in the right country. Ooh, this looks so fancy. I need a light. First class, it says. Alright. Okay. I like mine. Mine's like a dark chocolate on the top, or it's darker, it's not milk. And then the inside has a layer of chocolate. I don't know if it's like a little frosting or just more of a milk chocolate base in there. It's really nice. You have no words about yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's really dry. <laughs> I mean, I know wafers are dry, but you're gonna mm -hmm. like it. You need a tall glass of milk with that. Yeah, you do. It's just very rich. I like it. The base definitely, that's where that, the middle chocolate part is where that brownie flavor comes in. But it's so far off as well from like a typical brownie. The wafer is really dry, especially compared to that one, like this is like very airy. It's mostly what the wafer tastes or feels like in the mouth. What what did you think about that? I'm not a dark chocolate fan, so if it's not milk chocolate, I'm not really gonna enjoy it that much. Um, What's your favorite? I mean, if I have milk, I'm definitely going with this one and I probably wouldn't eat that one, so. <laughs> this seems like I got treats for myself. <laughs> I like them both. Yeah. So we heard that, um, Ritter Sport is made here in Germany. So we saw that they have this taste tester box. We're not gonna taste them all, we'll just try maybe one or two um, to get a good sense of some German chocolates, which I'm really excited about. I think this is a milk chocolate or some sort of milk based. And this is yogurt. I can open these things. <laughs> they're so little. Oh, they're cute. These are just, everything in miniature size is just so cute. That is such a nice 
solid chocolate bar. <laughs> you better give this one a whirl. <clears throat> <laughs> I kind of like it. It's definitely more, got more of a sour taste going on, but I like it. Sour, you think? No, I don't know if sour is the right word, but a yogurt. Yogurt is a little sour. So it's like a plain gray. It's not yogurt. <laughs> Cultured. <laughs> yeah, a yogurt. I think it does. Yeah. I would much rather have this one over that one. Okay, let's try one other one. These flakes. I'm guessing this will be like kind of a... Maybe... Like a wafer? Like, or maybe... Or maybe even like a... Um... French bar. How do you pronounce that? Knusper, Knusper flakes or? Knusper flakes? Yeah, kind of like a crunch bar. No, it's not toffee. I, mm. I think it's almost like a cereal. I like it. Mm. The texture is nice. Pass. <laughs> I'm, I'm one for three. One for five. He's kind of, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of them, but I don't mind at all. This is really fun to try out, don't you think? Yeah, that was really good. I loved, loved how many different flavors were in the meats. Mm -hmm. I'm speechless. Um, cheeses, not my favorite cheeses, but then we only got a very small selection mm -hmm. of a wide option that they had there. And then again, all these creams and spreads. I don't know, what do you think about it? Yeah, I thought they were great. I mean, they weren't like life-changing by any means, um, but still really good things that we'll use and finish up. Um, I liked everything minus whoever knows what this is. But other than that, very pleasantly surprised. I kind of went in a little nervous to try excited, but a little nervous and I should not have been. We want to try more. So you guys comment below on items that you want us to try, that you want to see us react to. It was really fun to have you here. Thanks for being here. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, and we will see you next time.